Well, good morning and welcome to Capital Region Sunday. I am Richie Phillips and I am not alone. I'm here with Karen McLean, who is the Community Relations Manager for a fantastic organization, Habitat for Humanity of Schenectady County. Good morning, Karen. Good morning, Richie. How are you? I'm well, and you? Oh, doing great, doing great. I've, you know, it's really funny. This is kind of coincidental. I've kind of taken over uh, at least one portion of this show every Sunday. I've never done it before. And I was thinking, boy, I hope I get enough guests. And we've been inundated with guests. That hasn't been the problem. But my wife had mentioned, why don't you go to Schenectady and just talk to Habitat for Humanity? Because that's a local one. I said, yeah, that's a great idea. And then you called. That is a great idea. Yeah. Who knows to your wife? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we all know what Habitat for Humanity is, or at least my wife and I know. Could you explain once again what the organization does? Absolutely. Um, Habitat is a home ownership program for hardworking families who are unable to get a traditional loan or mortgage through the bank. Um, so we provide basically a hand up for them, not a handout. They put in sweat equity hours between 300 and 400 hours on their house. And at the end of the construction build, they um, will get a brand new home, 0% interest mortgage mm. that they will pay for. Um, so we kind of teach them how to become homeowners instead of renters. So they usually end up paying a little bit lower uh, mortgage than they would for a rental apartment. And it's you know, usually in a safer neighborhood. It's an uh, energy-efficient home, and they get to provide stability for their family. When I think of Habitat for Humanity, it seems to be synonymous with Jimmy Carter. <laughs> did he start it? Oh, was he at the forefront of it? Um, he did not start it, actually, but he and his wife have been huge advocates. Mm -hmm. um, for years, and they have built all over the world. Um, in recent years, they've been going to Haiti um, every year. Right. They've taken large groups of volunteers over with them. I unfortunately have never had the chance to work with them, but um, I've, I know people who have, and it's just a great experience. They are true examples of what it is to give back to the community. In my mind, I always think of this being a traditionally a male kind of a thing, a bunch of guys with tool belts building a house. But this is interesting. You have the women build a bash program. You do. And, you know, really sadly, you were not alone in that misconception. Um, but uh, Women Build is a program that Habitat International created basically to tap into that unused resource, which is women. And so they, um, a lot of affiliates, Habitat affiliates, will have a Women Build day or they will have a Women Build house that basically pri um, primarily all the volunteers that come to build are women. So they get to come into a, a non-intimidating environment, work with you know other women who might be at the same skill level um, without having kind of that fear or uh, kind of unknown factor of how do I do this? You know, I have no idea how to use a power tool or no idea how to use a saw. And so it kind of provides um, a different kind of environment for them. And then once they get hooked on it, which happens quite often very early on, they become a huge advocate for housing. Um, they want to make sure that other families have the same kind of opportunities. So we provide all this training for them. It also empowers them to go home, fix things in their own house or their own apartment that they probably wouldn't have ever tried before. Mm -hmm. um, so it's great. They get to take home all those skills. And they're also doing a lot of great work in the community as well. So further explain to us Build-A-Bash. It sounds like a game show. <laughs> it's time for Build-A-Bash. There games involved, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The Build-A-Bash is our annual event um, for us to fundraise for the Women Build program. Um, we, the past two years we've held it at Central Park, um, which has been great. Um, but this year we were fortunate enough to partner with the uh, owners of the Schenectady Armory, Jeff and Ray Legier, and they have been huge advocates for us. And so we're taking it to a whole nother level. The Armory is a landmark, um, you know, in Schenectady, and they're starting to do more events. So we're one of the first events that they're hosting there. So we're very honored to be a part of it. But it's a huge building, over 30,000 square feet. And we are going to have so many features for this program. Um, if you've been to a fundraiser before, <laughs> this is nothing like anything you've seen before. <laughs> Now, the next thing you wanted on your list for me to talk about was something I can't pronounce. Hammerschlagen. 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 You, you did quite well. <laughs> is that German um, for something? Hammerschlagen? It is. It's, um, it's a game that you can prove your hammering acumen, men and women alike. <laughs> I love it. Basically involves a tree trunk and um, very long nails and a hammer. So we basically have a contest between um, different members of the audience that come in and see who is uh, much better at hammering. 
the quickest and the hardest. And the Raise so, the Roof competition? <laughs> Raise the Roof is another uh, unique event that we're going to have. We're going to have um, a male and a female contestant. They're going to be all geared up in uh, harnesses, and we're going to raise them to the top of the roof, over wow. 50 foot tall, um, through donations. Um, so we're going to have a contest between who can get raised to the roof the, uh, the quickest. So to sign up for this whole event, what do you have to do? Do you have a website? It, or We do. It's very easy. You can go to schenectadyhabitat.org, mm -hmm. and um, there is a banner on the homepage, or if you click on the tab listing out our events, uh, you can purchase tickets there. You can mail them in to the Habitat office, which all that information is there. Um, tickets are $65 uh, in advance and $75 at the door. Oh, that's great. And um, there'll be food. A lot of local restaurants have been um, very kind and gracious to us and are uh, providing food. Um, we have a cash bar. Um, there'll be lots of entertainment. We have a live band. Um, it's going to be a really fun night. Now, if you'd like to volunteer, male or female, for this, don't ask me because, you know, I would probably break my thumb with a hammer. I'm that, I'm that <laughs> handy. Uh, how would you go about uh, doing that? Are you still looking for volunteers? Well, we are looking for volunteers. Um, and we'll even take people like you. We have people that bruise their thumbs all the time. Not a problem. Um, you can actually sign up on our website as well. There is a tab listed out for volunteers, and it has all the information. You can come as an individual, um, take volunteers for their restore, which is kind of their retail outlet for Habitat. We sell uh, furniture and appliances, lighting, flooring. It's all open to the public. Um, it's all donated, so we can sell it at you know, half off. And you can also become a Habitat homeowner. They have the partner families? We do. We call them partner families because they actually partner with Habitat. Um, they, you know, work with us, and they become part of our Habitat family. Um, you can, uh, there's a preliminary application available on our website as well. Um, very simple to fill out, just a one-page form. And then we have a family selection committee that will take those applications, review them, get in touch with you, and get you started in the process. It's a great way. I know a lot of people that are current partner families really had never thought it was possible to own a home, and that's what we're here for. We want to talk to you and um, let you know kind of what's available and how we can help you um, have that dream of home ownership. Now, I'm not sure if we mentioned the date for build a bash did we? Oh, we did not. I didn't think we did. Oh, so important. Right. <laughs> On Saturday, September 19th, from 5 until 8 p.m. at the Schenectady Armory, Armory on Washington Avenue. That's great. Sounds like a fantastic event, and it's such a great thing you folks are doing to help people Thank who can't afford homes. It's, it's fantastic. Thank you very much. I think I've yelled out the word hammerschlagen many times when I've hit myself with a hammer. <laughs> hammerschlagen! <laughs> I, I have to use that name, uh, that word now. <laughs> it's, it's very appropriate. I think you should incorporate it into your vocabulary. <laughs> That's right. Well, Karen, thank you very, very much for calling in. That's uh, Karen McLean, the Community Relations Manager, Habitat for Humanity of Schenectady County. If you want more information, I'll also put on our website a, a link to yours. So we'll make it easy thank for people. Thank you so much, Richie. We appreciate it. Great. Thanks very much. Please join us on Saturday, September 19th from 5 until 8 p.m. at the Schenectady Armory for this year's Women Build a Bash. All are invited. Tickets are $65 in advance and $75 at the door. Check out our website at schenectadyhabitat.org for more information.